It's been an iconic staple of the Honda Classic, the car floating on the water near the 18th hole. We <laughs> right. all, you can't help but look at it. Over the last 40 years plus, fans have wondered and have come up with their own theories on how exactly organizers <laughs> get that two-ton car so buoyant. Our Tia Walker shows us exactly how it's done. JJ, who grew up in the Everglades, started floating cars at the Honda Classic when the old union guy retired. I became the new guy and, uh, 30 years ago. <laughs> to have the same crew come back, a lot of pride and, and a lot of uh, hard work and sweat over the years from this group, a special moment for all of us. His tools of the trade are cement-filled tires, crowbars, and a sledgehammer. No, John Johnson isn't an old-timey mobster. He's a full-on barefoot Florida man with a camouflaged hat and nicotine-stained fingers. The stories other people come up with on how it's done, uh, you hear people at restaurants and stuff like that. Oh, they use cranes, they use helicopters, all kinds of stuff. You hear the, the rumblings of, did this helicopter bring this in? Did they build it out on the water? Is that even a real car? Ramps all the way out there. <laughs> I'm not sure if you're aware, there are signs that say there's alligators out there and you have a man right behind us in the water. Yeah, I, I did not sign off on any liability <laughs> forms. He's been doing this for a long time, so he knows what he's doing. Our swimmer is not really afraid of the alligators. He's from Florida. Every year there's been an alligator. Every year I've done it. And now JJ and the Honda Classic are retiring together. It's a little bit, a bit emotional this year. You know, the 42nd uh, and last Honda Classic to see this going out in the water. Been fun. I've, I've enjoyed it. The people I work for are, are nice, reasonable, generous people. I was hoping it would last much longer, but those are decisions somebody else makes. So how do they make the car float on top of the moat? Well, we have a raft we put in the water, we load the vehicle on it, tie it down, and then we tow it to its location with a boat. All right, phase one was getting the car onto this barge. Phase two is tomorrow, where we float it out to the pond and get it in position for the Honda Classic. Tack on some cement filled tires to make the raft disappear to the naked eye. 24 tires one by one. They fight the elements. The wind is an issue. The car turns in the water until they get it into the perfect position for the TV cameras. And the team hopes the pros and the fans look, but don't touch. People swimming out there and leaving beer bottles on the vehicle. <laughs> when it was at um, Weston, it was a little close to the green. And people were taking shots at it. <laughs> and, uh, you know, some, some little boys never grow up. <laughs> <laughs> you can see the Honda Pilot floating out by the 18th hole through Sunday here in Palm Beach Gardens. At the Honda Classic, T.A. Walker, WPTV News Channel 5.